Run Junkies, so many of us cross the finish line so proud of ourselves and excited and we just accomplished something amazing and then a couple weeks later we look at our race photos and we're like, what happened there? Bad race photos can make even the most photogenic runner look like they are hating everything about running. So let's talk today about how to get that perfect race photo. Know where the photographers are going to be. For example, it's pretty easy at run Disney races. You are running up to a photographer and they have these cute little green, bright green tents. Actually, they you can see them from space. They're that bright. Run Disney photographers are also stationed around landmarks, so they're trained to get that shot of you in front of the castle, for example. In other races, you may not see those landmarks, but you may see signage that says, smile, photographer ahead. So what do we do when we see a photographer? Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna slow down and we're gonna check around us and make sure we have space apart from other runners. If you have a signature move or a pose, make sure you're getting close enough to the photographer. By that, I mean 15 to 20 feet before you make that move. If you take that jump or hit that move or pose too early, the photographer may miss it because you're too far away. Also, look straight into the camera's lens. You may not think about it this way, but the photographer is looking right into your eyes, into your face. Engage that photographer by smiling, waving, strike your pose, whatever. But as soon as you do that, then move out of the way. Now find a way to stand out without hogging the camera. That's why you want to create a little bit of space around you. Also be considerate and make sure you're not running in front of someone to get that shot. And if you're running with friends and you have kind of a plan, think about this ahead of time and then hit that pose or that move and then get out of the way, but keep it small and compact. Like don't set up a human pyramid in front of the photographer. As engaged as you are with that photographer, they only have a couple of seconds and a handful of shots before they have to move on to the next runner. Their job is to make sure they get pictures of everyone out on that course. They are going to miss people, but make their job easier by getting in, getting the shot and getting out. Another tip is to get some air. Now you don't necessarily have to make that big jump, but how many pictures do you have of yourself where you are firmly planted both feet on the ground even though you are running? When that photographer comes into view, you have a little bit of time to get yourself straightened up, chin up, look like you're having the time of your life and get some air under your feet. Maybe take a few longer strides. Here's another tip and it's my personal secret. I'm sharing it with you. Fake it. Even if everything hurts and you feel like you are going to die, look that cameraman straight in the face and say, yeah, I'm having the time of my life. Okay, so what do we wear in a race? Now, that's a completely separate conversation. However, most of us during our training, we figure out what works for us, but in a race where we might want some good pictures, we might rethink our regular running kit. For example, hats are a great way to keep the sun out of your face but from a photographer's point of view, it obscures your eyes. You can't see the all of the expression on your face. So here's a tip that I got from Sarah Bowen Shea over at the Another Mother Runner. She wears a ball cap for most of her race, but when she sees a photographer, she has short, wavy, great hair. What she'll do is she'll take her cap off and just kind of give it a little zhuzh. She calls it zhuzh. I love that zhuzh. I'm gonna say it again, zhuzh. Kind of gives it a little shake and smiles at the camera. She gets some really good shots. And then she moves along and puts her hat back on. Headbands are a good alternative to hats. And if you're gonna wear sunglasses, you might have the same problem in that it obscures your eyes, unless that's the look you're going for. I mean, sunglasses just look cool in a lot of pictures, right? Probably the most important tip you can get about taking good race pictures is making sure your bib is laying flat in the front. You can use four safety pins to hold it down, use a bib belt, whatever you need to do, but make sure that as you approach that photographer, your bib is clearly seen. That is how they identify you after the fact and program your pictures into your photo pass or whatever package that you're buying. If they can't see all of your number, they're not gonna get that picture to you. For example, during the Walt Disney World Marathon, I didn't get a lot of great photos of myself and I didn't realize this until after the fact. I spent most of my time in the corral that morning huddled 
on the ground, practically hyperthermic. If you were there, you know what I'm talking about. And it was basically destroying my bib for the first half of the race, my bib would not lay flat no matter what I did to it. So I probably had a lot of great pictures taken of me, but they didn't make it into my photo pass because they didn't get all of my bib number. Okay, at the finish line, how many times do we do this in training? We finish our workout, our watch beeps, and we look down and we hit the stop button. Yet don't do that at the finish line. For most races, you will have an official time anyway, so when you see that finisher's arch, you're not done when you cross that finish line. Keep running all the way through because at some races, there are photographers stationed beyond the finish line so they can get a shot of you with the clock behind you that's sitting on the finisher's arch. Keep running, you wanna look awesome. It's just a few more feet and then you can now after the finish, many larger races will have a branded backdrop where you can get your picture taken with your medal. Now before it's your turn to get that shot, take a minute to just kind of do a once over because this may be the most important picture you get, the most treasured. You worked super hard for this picture with that bling. So you wanna make sure that this is a keepsake photo. But that is it for my tips and tricks on getting the perfect race photo. My question for you today is this, how do you handle the race photo and what is your favorite pose or look? Please leave your comments in the box below. And as always, give me that thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe for more great tips and tricks from Running With Grace. That's it for me today. Thanks so much for watching. Go find your awesome. And until next time, happy running.